Saturday, of course, was St. Patrick's Day. It was Saturday. Yeah. Or, as it's called in Los Angeles, Cinco de Mayo for white people. <laughs> really white people. <laughs> That's a crazy thing out here in L.A. Saturday here in L.A. Saturday was St. Patrick's Day, and Sunday was the L.A. Marathon. Yeah, in other words, no Irish people ran the L.A. Marathon. <laughs> we were along the sidelines vomiting. Right, right. <laughs> you should have just put a number on it. People yeah. would have thought you were running. <laughs> uh, big news from the campaign trail. You probably heard about this. This is a big story. Rick Santorum has now said that if elected president, he would ban hardcore pornography. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which is why Mitt Romney just changed his slogan to Mitt Romney because Santorum would ban hardcore <laughs> pornography. I... Look at this. I... Do, do I know my crowd or what? Yeah. He would ban hardcore. People were like, no, no. That's what I yeah. live on. It's, it's obvious Cinemax has gotten to him. Yeah. It's ridiculous. If I said he had banned all food and nutrition, you would not have reacted that yeah, angrily. Yeah. Mm. Water will be outlawed. What we can do without water? <laughs> Pornography. Speaking of Rick Santorum, a new racy photo of a shirtless Rick Santorum lounging in a pool is circulating on the internet right now, yeah. Ironically, uh, the photo has proven to be a very effective form of birth control. <laughs> Santorum has mixed feelings about. <laughs> Look at that. That's what I do when I think it's not quite good enough. Uh, <laughs> that's my poker tell. I'm trying to give it a little extra lift. Uh, over the weekend, a group of Occupy Wall Street protesters tried to reoccupy New York's Zuccotti Park. Yeah. And you can tell the movement's been hurting for funds because this time they call themselves Occupy Wall Street, brought to you by Sony Pictures 21 Jump Street. <laughs> make a little cash on the side. A new study shows that, I couldn't believe this, a new study shows that 30 million... Chinese citizens live in caves. It's true. That's true. Live in caves. Yeah, a spokesperson uh, for the citizens said, hey, it beats making iPads. <laughs> hey, the iPad. They're so, so fun. Uh, over the weekend, the creator of Red Bull died at the age of 89. Yeah, as per his wishes, his funeral will be an all-nighter followed by a hellacious midterm. <laughs> HBO, uh, HBO had to cancel its horse racing series, Luck, after the death of three of the horses. They canceled it, yeah. However, uh, HBO executives are eagerly promoting their next big series, Glue. <laughs> were saying, I don't know, is that over the line? I don't know. It'll probably get a laugh. I never thought, yeah! <laughs> Glue! <laughs> Crazy story in the news. A new report says that uh, not long before Osama bin Laden died, he really wanted to change Al-Qaeda's name to help its image. He wanted to change the name Al-Qaeda <laughs> to help their image. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, Pinkberry was taken. <laughs> so they... <laughs> Pinkberry will destroy you! <laughs> Fear Pinkberry. Pinkberry! Pinkberry, death to infidels. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How mad would the people at Pinkberry be? <laughs> Another threat from Pinkberry? No! Yeah. <laughs>